the shoulder rock basically before every workout but uh, here I was running a little late so it was a uh, deadlift day and I needed to do my goblet squats as well as part of my pre-workout routine and I figured I'd just mix the two together not uh, not as clean as I would like uh, if I was to continue doing these but uh, actually worked really well so I uh, was, uh, was quite pleased with, uh, with that. Love the shoulder rock too just for the benefits of uh, the effects of it, but it also gets the blood flowing and gets you prepared to train and uh, always a good thing So this week is the first week of diet and uh, I'm gonna be dieting for quite a while really working on uh, trying to lean myself back up I've been bulking pretty hard the last uh, year year and a half so I'm gonna change things up and Weights coming off really fast, but uh, you really can't tell from the weights. I was moving this week. So that's that's a good thing uh, this is uh, 455. I'm messing around with some changes in my setup, and I, you know, I wasn't feeling particularly strong after doing a bunch of rows on uh, on Saturday, which you can see in last week's training log, and coming off the meet plus the weight loss, all that combined. But uh, the setup felt really good, so I went ahead and went with 495. You know, this is the first time I've ever pressed it. It shouldn't look that easy the first time. I think I could have been good for four, 520, but I uh, thought I'd save it. Not sure if that's a good idea since my weight's probably going to be going down over the next six weeks as I diet. But uh, anyway, jumped into doing some rep work after this. Uh, so four or five for a bunch of reps, and then uh, some weighted dips, um, shoulder presses, and uh, and some tricep uh, overhead tricep extensions. All that's viewable on my log. Someone asked me how much tension was on the front and the back band on these, so I did post that. Um, so I weigh those with my uh, band tension measurement device. And uh, the rear one was 50 pounds pulling back on my hips, and the front one uh, that I've got to drive back against was 40 pounds. You'll notice all these are over under versus the typical strap work that I've been doing. My arm's feeling better. All the grip work that I've been doing definitely is paying off, because here we've got 660 in the bar. Uh, for a set of seven, and uh, it wasn't until I went for the eighth rep yeah, that I uh, had a failure. Sitting on the walker, drinking Johnny Walker. It's time to pull. If you've never seen the walker video on my channel, you definitely should check it out for the comedy's sake. But they do get some use, mostly for sitting on like I was doing. So that was Wednesday, the last pole session. Thursday, I trained on my lunch break circuit training. You can see the details on my training log, lots of volume. And then uh, uh, doing some uh, RDLs here. One of the blocks is lower than the other. I didn't notice till the end of the workout. Definitely why things felt a little off for me. Uh, so worked up to 600 there, 600-ish, uh, over, under, no straps, and then... Uh, Bump the weight heavier for one last set with straps. Again, you can see those uh, blocks kind of throwing me off. Um, didn't notice till I sat down at the end. But uh, this was a, this was a solid set, 705 for for several reps. Uh, definitely nailing the hamstrings and glutes good. So this is Saturday. Um, basically, uh, this is my 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 pulling strategy right now. Is doing these on uh, my deadlift day and then on my squat day. I'm, uh, I'm doing the, the band resisted at the hips. And then on Thursdays, I'm doing basically all my quad work, adductor work, stuff that uh, would normally be affected in my squats uh, on top of the two deadlift days. <clears throat> this day is also, so the prior day is a little bit more focused on uh, uh, some of that other stuff. And then uh, I focus more on lats and upper back. So doing some rowing. I didn't have a lot of time because my son's birthday was this day and I need to get home. So I didn't do uh, um, the heavy bent over rows just because of the uh, so much downtime between sets with how tired it uh, fatigued it makes me. So hit these and some rear delt flies. Again, you can check out everything on my log on Elite FTS. I do a full written log up there. Uh, so check it out. 
Also, don't forget to check out my website. Subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And make sure to let others know about it uh, as well. Get the information out there, trying to help people out.